What up, Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I am super excited about this unboxing because all of these items that I have next to me are brand new items that you can only find in Japan. So I decided to go ahead and opt to purchase them and get them in the mail so that I can review them for you and show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with unpacking all of these boxes and then I will show you what I got. As a reminder, if you haven't subscribed yet, I will be doing a giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers and I have been collecting a slew of products for that giveaway. So definitely subscribe if you wanna be a part of that giveaway and I hope you enjoy my videos. Okay, so the first item that I received is from the Miracle Romance line of Career Beauté or however you say it, a uh, line of makeup items. And this is the Crisis Moon Cheek, which is the next one in the uh, in the list. I do have a bunch of the previous ones back here that I don't use, but I really like how nice they are. So I decided to purchase them all. The packaging is not that wonderful. I do intend to do a second video about this specifically just to, as a review. But if I open this, you will see what's inside. So this is supposed to be, again, this is the Crisis Moon Cheek. So it's supposed to be like a cheek blush or something like that. But it's got a mirror on the inside as well as a cute little poof if I don't drop it on the floor. And of course I dropped it on the floor. But if I open that, there we go. Well, sadly it kind of rubbed off on the plastic protector, but basically you have the blush on the inside and it's got a pretty little print from the, um, from the compact itself. So I'm just gonna put that all back together for now until I get a chance to use it, but this is going to also go on my shelf with all the others. These are plastic, they're not made out of metal or anything like that, and the makeup does seem to be really good quality, so I'm super excited to review this more and to take a closer look in a second video. So the second box that I got is a bunch of items that I got through the fan club in Japan, so the Sailor Moon Japanese fan club. So I did sign up with a Japanese address so that I could have access to these because they just ship domestic domestically, not internationally, as far as I know. So the first item that I got is the 25th anniversary. This is the 25th anniversary Memorial Tribute CD. And this features several different songs on here which are made by current artists, including Moon Revenge, La Soldier, which is one of my favorite songs from the original anime, as well as a few others. Uh, this version did come with a limited edition sticker too. So I received the sticker along with the CD. Also in 2018, there is a classic concert uh, that is happening. So I received a couple of items from the classic concert here. So the first is an acrylic keychain. So it features each of the Sailor Senshi in pretty uniform attire. And then there's really pretty gold notes all around the edges of it. Uh, it looks like it's a one-sided acrylic keychain. It's not on both sides. And then the keychain itself is gold comes in this nice yellow backing and there is a toy sticker on the back and then I also received the Sailor Moon Classic Concert 2018 uh, portfolio which is basically a wallet so this is a very large wallet which you could take with you whenever you're just going out or whatever it might be it's really nice quality it's nicely sewn and it does also have like a cute little address card on here with the Sailor Senshi on it I like how simplistic this is and I like how pretty it is it's like a billfold so that's all that I got from from the Sailor Moon fan club in Japan, but I also received a package from Tokyo Otaku Mode, which does ship in the United States. So this company, again, I have received a package from them in the past, but they ship internationally. They have a warehouse in Japan. There's a warehouse up in Seattle, a few other places, or maybe it's Portland, I don't remember, but they have all sorts of different places that they ship from so that you receive your items in pretty decent time. So from here, I decided to purchase the Sailor Uranus Transfer lip rod proplica which is on everybody's mind right now and it is so pretty I'm super super stoked about opening this and doing a full review for you as a second video because this is brand new and I want to get a video out there so you can hear all the different noises that it makes since it is a proplica it lights up it is a proplica so it makes noises so we should be able to listen to that in a in a future episode it's supposed to be able to stand with the Sailor Neptune proplica so if you get this one you can get the Sailor Neptune one and they will sit side by side on the same stand, which is very, very cute. And you get the same thing if you order both the Uranus and Neptune uh, figure arts, like the figure arts zeros from Crystal that I have behind me. So both of those can share a stand too. And I don't wanna wait, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this and just take a look, but I will do a second episode review in case you are interested. This is supposed to be a life-size item and 
I don't know if it comes with the batteries inside of it. It probably doesn't. All of the other previous models did not. So I'll probably have to grab some batteries from downstairs and stick them in here before I actually do a whole review on this. But this is what the Proplica looks like. It's really, really pretty. It's basically a freaking mirror. I can see myself in the thing in the blue part up at the top, which is really cool. It's very shiny. And the front part right here in the heart, that's also a mirror and it looks very, very pretty. All right, so the last thing on my list for this week was a bunch of items from the Sailor Moon store and these are from one of the proxy shippers that I use in Japan. So they did order a few different things for me or they picked up a few different things for me that I can't find online or I would not be able to find online for a decent price unless you go to eBay. So the first item that I got is from the Q-Pot collaboration for this year and this is the mug that features the bedspread that you can find in Skino Usagi's room, so Sailor Moon's room. On the back it says Q-Pot Sailor Moon, of course that is featuring the collaboration. On the bottom it says Q-Pot Cafe made in Japan. It's a really nice, is that ceramic? material I guess but nothing really different as far as this goes it matches the other Q pot mugs that they've come out with it looks like it's the same size and everything so I'm really happy that I was able to get this so I can add it to my collection oh that's really nice the sellers sent me candy I love Japanese candy so I'm super excited about that thank you so much you're amazing and I got this really pretty acrylic keychain so this keychain was only available at the Sailor Moon store for a limited time so it's very very rare very hard to find but on the back there's a Toei sticker, it says Sailor Moon Store as well as 25th Anniversary, which is funny because wasn't that like two years ago or last year or something? But yeah, it's a very very glittery acrylic keychain. This is one that I would totally stick on one of my purses because it's so pretty. And it features one of these new versions of Sailor Moon, so it's new art of Sailor Moon, not something that we have seen previously. Featuring that same artwork is this awesome t-shirt that I got. So this is the pink limited edition Sailor Moon store t-shirt. This was only available, I believe, during the Skino Usagi birthday event that they had going on there, but it was only available at the Sailor Moon store. Very, very rare, very hard to find, already sold out. So I was able to get this one at a great price through the proxy seller. So I'm super happy. And again, it features that same artwork as previously. I really hope it fits. Oh man, I hope it fits. If it doesn't, I'll be bummed, but at least I have it as a part of my collection. The next item from the Sailor Moon store is this really cute collaboration from Q-Pot items. So luckily the Sailor Moon store, a lot of times they release items from previous collections or previous collaborations. If there's still inventory available, you can find it at the Sailor Moon store. So in this case, I decided to get the Q-Pot. I believe this is from the third collaboration, but this features the Outer Scouts on one side in the Inner Scouts on the other side, and it is a simple little hand towel. Now, of course, since there is artwork on both sides, which is rare for a hand towel, if you wanted to display this, you would probably want to get two so you could feature both sides. But it has a toy sticker on the back, and it says on here it was 1,000 yen, so that's a little bit more than $10 USD. Also, with that Q-Pot collaboration, I received the Luna Ida bag. Now, Ida bags are supposed to be <laughs> items like bags, tote bags, backpacks, whatever they might be, that have some kind of plastic interior that you can put like a crap load of stuff in. And they're usually made for otakus. So you can end up putting like pins in here, stickers, images of artwork, whatever you want, you can stick inside of these Ida bags. And they're supposed to be so, so incredibly cluttered and crowded that they are painful for your wallet or they're painful to look at. And that's where the word Ida comes from, the Ida bag in this case. So this one has a crescent moon at the top made out of metal. It's a canvas bag, it's a black canvas, has a couple of little ears at the top for Luna. And then in the middle it says Q-Pot Sailor Moon, which would be covered up if I use this as an Ida bag. The plastic part does have a zipper pocket, so the items that you stick in your Ida bag won't damage any of the items that you decide to carry around and then the interior does have a couple of little smaller pockets for anything that you choose to put in there but it's a pretty simple bag as far as like how it was made it's not the best quality there's a few little loose threads on it but it would still make a really excellent Ida bag if you don't want to use a backpack as an Ida bag 
I will definitely be using that for pins because I have way too many pins for the little boards that I have back behind me. All right, and the last item for today was this extremely popular one that sold out like twice already, but this is the Moon Cosmic Power Makeup Transparent Pink Summer Bag. So this, it smells like, it smells like pool toys, like inflatable pool floaties and things. That's so weird. Anyway, it smells like pool toys, but this is a plastic bag that you can put items inside of since it is made out of that nice plastic material. It's also waterproof, so if anything splashes on it, like if you're at the pool, then it won't damage anything that's on the inside unless it gets in through the top, of course. It also has these really nice durable handles so you can carry it around with you. I don't think it's gonna fail over time because it looks really nicely made. And this also came with a drawstring pouch. So the drawstring pouch on the front, it says Moon Spiral Heart Attack, and it has that beautiful attack wand on it as well. And it's the same one that I have a Proplica of. It also says Sailor Moon Store at the bottom, letting you know that it is a store only limited edition item. And since it is a drawstring bag, it does have these little purple ribbons on both sides that you can pull it from so that you can string this and tie it at the top. Uh, this would be excellent for any of your like bathroom necessities and stuff you don't want everybody to necessarily see through a transparent bag. Um, I ended up getting two of these bags and not because I wanted to siphon it off on eBay or anything, it's because I wasn't sure if they were going to sell out or not. I'm really happy that I got two because they did sell out. Anyway, that is everything for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. This was super fun because all of these items were brand new, so I was super stoked to receive them in the mail. I am, again, going to do a Sailor Uranus Proplica review so that you can see exactly how that thing works, and you can see it in action, which I'm super excited about too. And if you wanna see that giveaway happen when I hit 500 subscribers, definitely subscribe comment below let me know what your favorite item from today was and let me know if you want to see any close-ups or any more information about any of these products so until next time my name is sailor snubs i'm gonna go eat dinner because it's getting kind of late Johnny.